Hello and welcome. I am Uliye Misi Dada. This is from the CBN, bringing you highlights of its weekly activities. The Monetary Policy Committee held its 262nd meeting recently, where it reviewed financial and economic development in the global and domestic environment. The committee based its positive economic growth forecast for the rest of the year on the implementation of the 2018 budget plus other factors. Let's take a listen. The forecast of key macroeconomic indicators point to a positive economic growth in the second half of 2018. The expectation is premised on the implementation of the 2018 budget, sustained stability in the foreign exchange market, as well as increase in crude oil production and prices. The MPC cautioned that the downside risk to the growth outlook to include continuing delay in the implementation of the 2018 budget, worsening farmers and headsmen conflict in some parts of the country, continued non-payment of workers' salaries and pensions in some states, rising sovereign debt, as well as uncertainties surrounding the direction of trade policy, including the external demand for Nigeria's oil. Inflation forecast for the near term points to further moderation in price level. However, the downside risks to inflation include the impact of excess liquidity that could arise from the implementation of the approved 9.1 trillion Naira 2018 federal government budget, pre-election spending, anticipated review of salaries and wages, security challenges, and monthly FAC injections. These could aggregate demand, these could boost aggregate demand, but would equally exert an upward pressure on domestic prices for the rest of the year. The committee therefore called for a coordinated fiscal, monetary, and exchange rate measures to stem the build-up of price pressures. The Central Bank of Nigeria Tuesday released the sum of $210 million into the foreign exchange market to meet various requests in different segments of the market. Authorized dealers in the wholesale segment of the market got $100 million, while the small and medium enterprises segment received a boost of $55 million. Customers requesting foreign exchange for invisibles such as tuition fees, medical payments, and basic travel allowance, among others, were allocated the remaining $55 million. Here are some frequently asked questions on the bilateral currency swap agreement between the Central Bank of Nigeria and the People's Bank of China. That's all from the CBN others time. Many thanks for watching and bye for now.